think we're live with Toronto Johnson, or is this you, sir? That's me right here. What's going on, brother? I'm going to properly introduce you, my friend. From Nassau, the Bahamas, let's welcome this 2008 Bahamian Olympian, Toriano Reno Johnson. Respect, respect. All right. So, Mr. Johnson, you're going to be making your basically debut to the world. We've seen you numerous times on Showbox and things of that nature, but now we, we're going to have a barometer fight for you because you're going to be going up against Curtis Stevens, a guy that just took on what is uh, arguably the number one in the division, if not considered the champion in other people's minds in Gennady Golovkin. So this is a statement fight for you. Um, what's on your mind? <laughs> Well, you know, I, I can't lie to you. There isn't much on my mind, you know. Uh, I simply can put it, you know, the Almighty God made this opportunity uh, to take place at a time like this. You know, uh, I'm a world champion. You can say my own ranks, but I know I am a world champion, and I'm supposed to be fighting guys at this level, you know, a little while back ago. But I'm here now to take care of business, and it's no doubt. I'm, I'm going to do what I'm famous for doing when I get inside the ring. Now, do you think that a win over Curtis Stevens uh, can mean as much as it is to you as to the public? Because people can discredit a win over this guy by saying that he got blown out by Gennady Golovkin and he also lost to Jesse Brinkley. You know, uh, a lot of people, if you know boxing, you, you, you can't overlook that, I mean... To be honest, I'm a boxer, and there are a few boxers I respect, and Golovkins is one of them, along with Regendo and Andre Ward. To me, they, those three are the best boxers out there in the world, pound for pound. Um, I felt as though Curtis Stevens held his own against uh, Gandhi Golovkins, but unfortunately, he's not the guy to beat Golovkins, you know, and uh, Curtis Stevens put on a stellar performance, you know, against a lot of other guys. Now he's going up against Toriano Johnson. This is a fighter unlike any other fighter he have ever met before. So Curtis Stevens, you know, got to give him his respect. The guy has an incredible power, incredible speed, and he's a very technical fighter as well. You know, uh, this fight is not a pushover for me. I wouldn't say it's the hardest fight of my life, but it is the most important fight of my life. And I believe this is going to get me where, get me to where I need to be in the next fight. Hopefully, a fight against Peter Quillen. Now, he does pack a big punch. I mean, what are you going to do to combat this power? Because he's, he's put out a lot of guys out in the first round, and uh, there's no denying the left hook. He has power. Well, you know, uh, we're going to see just how, how much power he has come Friday. You know, because I do believe myself I have more power than he does. But we're going to see. Uh, I'm not afraid of of his power, you know, in fact, I'm not even concerned about even protecting myself, I don't think he has that kind of power, I believe, uh, again, Derek Finley, Derek Finley was one who had proven it, uh, even though Derek Finley to me really isn't on that caliber of fighter with Curtis Stevens, he still was able to last inside that fight and pretty much shut Curtis Stevens down from his power, I can do even better, I don't have to smother him, I <laughs> know he can really, really hit, he can hit other guys, but hit me, I think that is more impossible. Vic, take it away. That's all my questions. Hello, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Tariana, are you there? I'm right here. I'm right here waiting on here from you guys. I guess I left you guys speechless. No, no, no. It seems like uh, either the call broke up or, or I don't know. But, um, uh, yeah, so, you know, I, I did hear the gist of, of your reply to the power. Um, now, I guess my final question before I pass it to my co-host uh, will be, um, let the world know why you feel that you belong. Like, why should we... What care for Terriano Johnson? Well, uh, the world, if the world is listening, my name is Terriano Johnson. I have a 14, I've had 14 professional fights, 10 knockouts. I'm an extremely exciting fighter to watch. 
I'm not one of the guys who goes into the ring and touch and run. No, I go in there, I trade punches, I mix it up, and I make it exciting. I'm not, you know, just going to play around in this thing. I go in there to beat guys up, and that's what I do for a living. This is a lifestyle. You can play basketball, play football. You can even play rugby, but you can't play boxing. This is what I do for a living. This is my lifestyle. I guarantee you, when you come into the ring, whether win or lose, be excited to watch me fight. All right, I'm going to pass you to my co-host, Victor Salazar. Hey, Toriano, uh, for the fans that don't know, it's, it's almost going to be a year that you fought. I mean, can you explain why the long layoff? Well, you know, uh, to keep it a little brief, uh, we had a little, few uh, business issues and also uh, a few personal affairs that have been getting kind of mixed up. I've gotten all of my cards in place now and we're ready to start playing games again. And uh, It was unfortunate that it, it took a year, in fact, a year and a few months to get back into the ring, but I'm most certain that it wouldn't have a drastic effect on me in the ring. In fact, I believe once I step foot into that ring, I'll be Toriano Johnson as I've always been in all of my fights again. Now, Curtis Stevens in the middleweight division is a incredibly fast starter. I, I don't know if you noticed, but he, he's got plenty of first-round KOs. Do you think his plan, or should his plan be, to jump on you because you haven't been in the ring so long? And are you concerned with the first three minutes of this fight with him? You know, I believe, <laughs> honestly, from the words of Toriano, I believe Curtis Stevens is overrated. I, I can most certainly say that, yes, he has fought, guy, fought guys who he knocked out in the first round. He's supposed to knock out. You know, uh, no, I, I have no doubt. Curtis Stevens is not going to come into that ring the first couple of seconds of that fight to try to knock me out. I think he knows better. He's very mature now. He had a good amount of fights now. He's not going to try to jump into to the ring in the first couple of seconds of the first round against a guy like myself, unlike any other fighter he's met. Try to knock me in the first couple of seconds. I believe he's going to try to be more strategic and uh, try to, you know, figure out what he's going to do inside the ring because I don't know who he's going up against right now. Now, when you say he's overrated, is it because of the knockouts or – you think people rate him highly because of his fight with Gennady Golovkin because he put up a decent scrap with him? I don't believe um, I don't believe he or should have taken that fight with Gennady Golovkin at that time. If I were to say I was managing that situation, no, I don't think that was a good idea. But I do say that uh, I think the public had overrated him just a little too much and put him in a danger zone. You know, even against a fighter like myself, you know, uh, I think you guys had boosted. Just to say, you guys, reporters and so on, have boosted his ego to the point to make him feel as though he is Superman when he really isn't even a Clark Kent. Uh, he's overrated. And going up against like a guy like me, again, he really needs to settle down and uh, try to get, become more technical. I love a tough fight. I love a technical fight. I love any kind, of, any kind of fight you bring before me. I love it. And I, I would like for him to bring his best. So I don't think it is the best thing for you to do. Don't come inside the ring trying to knock me out in the first couple of seconds. That ain't going to happen. I'm sure you're much smarter than that. Now, what are the public going to learn about Toriano Johnson in the ring against Curtis Stevens? And what are we going to learn about Curtis Stevens? Because we haven't learned much from Curtis Stevens ever since he's been on our air because he's just been knocking guys out in the first round. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good pretty good resume to have just knocking guys out well you know um, you're going to learn that Toriano Johnson has grit uh, he's a very durable guy he knows how to hit he has a very big heart he does not quit and he keeps on coming and uh, you know I, I just love to fight I am not the most technical fighter out there no doubt I'm not a Floyd Mayweather nor Muhammad Ali or Sugar Ray Leonard I'm a fighter just as a Joe Fraser and all of the bulldogs inside the pen. That's the kind of guy I am. Don't come expecting to see a guy jump up and down. No, I'm coming in there to be a dog, to be a bull, and to be exciting. And finally, my last question here. What would a victory mean for Toriano Johnson, and where do you think that leads you to? My next step, hopefully, you know, after this fight, 
a victory would mean a lot to me to to be able to get the opportunity to fight Peter Quillen if he's suicidal enough to accept a fight like that and ultimately to become the overall uh, middleweight champion and that would mean facing Sergio Martinez and Gandhi Golovkin hopefully in the future and who knows uh, the sky is the limit after that Well, those are all my questions, Tiriano Ness. It's all yours, brother. Well, Tiriano, we want to thank you for coming on. And uh, at this time, you can definitely give out any social media that you may have, uh, Twitter, Facebook, or wherever the fans can follow you um, if they want to get behind your career. Oh, no, definitely. I would like for everybody to follow me on Tiriano1984, uh, at Tiriano1984 on Twitter. Come on, man. Let me know how y'all feel, what y'all think, and... And hey, I'm going to be out there to be a crowd pleaser. So come on, uh, let me hear, let me hear what you got to say. That's all. All right, Tariano, man, you have a good night and thanks again for your time. Uh, no problem. God bless you all too. Take care. Thank you, brother.